Hey there guys, I recently asked you what gets in between you and the process of actually painting. And you guys had some great answers. Uh, they were all over the place, but one answer was overwhelmingly, resoundingly popular. You guys all kind of thought the same thing, and this is what it is. I've been there before, and I feel the same way. It is the one thing that stops me from getting to my paintings is how much time it takes to set up and to pack down and and just the idea that I might actually be spending as much time getting all my colors out, putting them on the palette, getting everything ready as I end up spending painting and then what happens if I get interrupted? Oh my gosh. So I feel you, I hear you, I'm right there with you. But I had spent a lot of time actually struggling with this and, and finding solutions. So here's my solution. My solution to this idea is to simplify everything as much as humanly possible. So for my daily painting, I actually use this. This is actually all that I use. Okay, so let's have a look. We'll get back to that guy in a minute. Oh, here are my paints. Guess what I'm set up to paint? You might not believe me, but I, but I can paint right now. Okay, so I've got this. If I'm at home, I might actually use a, like a, a regular rag. And I have the brushes that I'm gonna need. Now I can paint. This is all that I need. Just got my paper and go for it. Um, if I'm doing this and I'm going out, I'll, I'll wet these paints just like a little bit beforehand by the time I get to where I'm going to paint, even if that's just at home. This is the first thing I do. I open it up and I wet it and then I'll get everything else ready. Now this uh, is my water container. A lot of the times I'll go out and it won't already have water in it and it'll fit right in here with everything else. But if I'm at home or if I know that I don't need everything to be tight and concise, I'll actually put water in it when I'm finished so that next time I want to paint, I'm ready. I'm just ready. Okay, so here's the best thing. This is called a Baby Brezza food pouch. It is made to put stuff in it, throw it in a bag, and not worry at all about it leaking, which is amazing. So you can open it up. Just like this. Put it down, it'll stand up on its own, and suddenly I can use it for all of my water. If I'm out and I need to wet the things that I have, I can also sit here, unscrew my pouch, and give a measured dose to the paints that I need. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's all. This is what I use. Uh, I'm actually very intentional about the paints that I use. The very paints that I use, I choose to combat this idea. If I had a studio at home where I could just leave my oils set up, not worry about kids or cats or anything like that, I would do it and I would enjoy it. And I'd have, I'd have everything so I just didn't have to think about it. I could just go, but I don't. I don't have that situation and probably neither do you, which is probably why you're watching this. <laughs> um, and a lot of my audience, the people that I ask this question to, they don't have a situation where that works. You know, they have to set up in their kitchen or set up on a table with the rest of the family around. And that's, that's difficult, right? The other thing about this is say I'm here and I finished. This is, these are poster colors, but this will work with gouache as well. Um, say I've finished painting. I'll close it up. Seal my bag throw everything in with gouache or post up color you know it doesn't matter or even watercolor it doesn't matter if paint gets up in here it'll dry it's fine throw this in here probably actually pull the water out first um, and then I'm gone I'm literally gone most of my pages by the time that I finish setting up everything they're dry enough or dry enough that I can you know carry it around but here's the thing 
simplify what you're doing so that nothing gets in between you and painting because the most important thing here in the practice of painting is in fact painting so have a look see what's getting in your way in between paintings and with this setup with this process I've been able to go around and travel and literally sit down pull out my paints start painting like a minute and a half later finish close up my paints leave literally a minute and a half later so maybe I put like three or four minutes into setting up and packing down and that's the real cool thing and um, I've set up my studio practice so that in fact I really don't have much more to do after I get back to the studio when I start in my studio on my day that I'm painting I can I just do the same thing I really don't need much more than what I've showed you so that's what we've got uh, feel free to yeah I'd love to hear what is your biggest struggle with what's getting in between you and painting and what would stop you from doing this um, maybe if you used acrylics or oils or things that didn't um, didn't re-wet quite so easily it'd be a bit more complicated so the first question is why do you use those uh, and can you do what you actually want to do um, by using something else if you're not actually ever getting around to painting so I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, feel free to subscribe uh, follow me on patreon on Instagram wherever just find me um, I'd love to hear from you guys I'll see you later